Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Niamer here, and welcome to another episode of That in Windland. A pretty cool, chill, story heavy Viking adventure game here with some turn based combat, so it's not all just uh, text and stuff. Uh, it's pretty good. You manage the group of uh, Vikings and uh, craft the stations for them and assign to the stations and, well, manage to try to survive and thrive. If you want to watch the full playthrough, it's quite a long one. You can find the full playlist in the comment and description below the video. So, uh, I started playing a little bit faster, a little bit less uh, worrying about details, so I'm not sure where exactly we are right now. I know last time I did some, yeah, we collected some more Calcum bits. Okay, let's check the doggy. Well, actually, if we have its buff, we do. And then we're gonna tell the doggy to go get us some more items. Good, I wanna build stuff. Milking tools, good. Crafting speed, good. Okay, we're gonna have her craft. There we go. And then you gonna go and fish a little bit. Actually, hunt with Kari. That's pretty good. Uh, you or two of you explore. You can go chop some trees. You're getting hemp. That's all right. You're doing the sheep. That's okay. Check the pants. Okay, we have only five, so we're gonna wait for another one. We, okay, we're also making ropes. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. That's good. Look good enough. I'm gonna say. I stopped gardening because I don't know. It's just resources we get from those we don't really need. Oh, she say leveled up. That's nice. So, you can get some more stuff. Silly Acrobat, dodge plus 5%, initiative plus 1, effect resistance minus 15%. Mighty. Okay, I want like a combat skill for him, so we're gonna be rolling that. Uh, critical resistance might be good. I don't want max damage. Uh, this might be alright. Actually. You know what, let's take critical resistance. Since it's offered, and we're probably gonna level up a little bit more. Yeah, I'll just grab that to make him a little bit safer against that. Because criticals might uh, be our bane, really. Alright, uh, and let's say I'm happy enough with this setup, I think. We have enough ropes for the next tribute, so nothing to worry about there. Can she actually finish the vet? Finish, finish the vet stone? She can. We got some raven stuff. Okay, what's those? What are those? I don't know. Okay, Eric leveled up. Okay, did we get a fight? We actually do. We're gonna put Knut into the fighting. I am actually considering giving him initiative if we can. Oh, this is so, so sad. If she was only in the back row, if he was only faster than her, we could do so, so much wreckage. But three to seven, guaranteed hit. Let's go for that. I'm gonna move her back. There we go, and now she say will try to kill as many as he can. He only has 75% chance to hit. I guess we lost some hit chance on him somehow. Or she's just super precise. Either way. If we get a little bit lucky here, we might get rid of the Berserker. Nope. I think it was an average that we missed at least once there. Well, it's okay. Whatever happens, we can't really lose, and... Okay, move in front. Well, I should have... I always forget that I can charge. Oh, 9 crit. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I forgot to buff my people. Oops. It is what it is. I'm going to do so much damage, that doesn't really matter. Not too much anyway. And then we do the AoE, although there's nothing to AoE anymore. It is what it is. Come on, now. Are you going to be like that? Really? 80%? I'm gonna miss another 80%? No? Good job, say good job. Right, I don't care what we got because, well, we have everything we need, so... Alright, uh, then second part of the day here, we're gonna put her to cook. I'm gonna cook lots of delicious meat. Okay, and to make sure we have enough fire going. Wonderful, we found a new location. Okay, it's another fishing spot. You see just little fish spilling on the water surface here. Who knows what lured them speci specifically here? You know, just know that they make an easy target. We can get like some item by diving here. Yeah. Okay, uh, back to camp. Okay, doggy, you need to rest now. Yeah, okay, let's check out those ravens we got. So what is that? Intelligence plus five. Well, I like making Kari be our... <laughs> he has zero intelligence, that's so funny, you know. Um, 
<laughs> I like I like to put points into Kari because she's like my favorite. Even though at the end she will probably not be fighting. Let's improve her mining a little bit, I think. There. Um Alright, switch her to mining. Kari you can go. Actually, you know what? Let's heal people up a little bit. Uh, I noticed that these two are quite wounded, actually. Okay, Moira, can you please patch them up? Thank you very much. There we go. And we're gonna go and focus on wounds. Uh, wonderful. And I'm gonna need to build another thing. I wanna build everything here. Uh, I'm getting uh, a little bit closer to that. Forge! Less fatigue. Sure, let's do it. And then she can go and just make some healing items. There we go. Let's feed the dog if we need to. Well, we actually need to. There we go. Good. And then, yeah, you can stay on the ship duty. That's fine. Yeah, everything looks good. And there we go. Some ointments. I might need more ropes also. Another fight? No, yes, no, maybe. Not this time. Okay, let's go and fix things. Fix the station. That's good. Check out the new location. It's a medicinable herb patch. Okay. At first you think it's a simple bush, but upon closer look, you recognize the shape of those leaves. They are medicinable herbs. It's a blessing you found an entire bush of them. How wonderful. So right now, like, I need to explore the rest of the island to find the things we need to do the missions for the Bjorn's lieutenants. I can then finally take care of Bjorn. Um, yeah, it might take a while, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, so he can finish the stone forge tomorrow. Well, actually, it's night time soon, so what we want to do is do that. Oh wait, what, really? Overnight? No. I put this today? Yeah, I think I put this in today then. Okay, can't take them out, that's interesting. Anyway, let's not lose the fire yet again. That would be painful. Okay. And then... Yeah, I don't think I want to do anything else. Uh, we can check out real fast if... Like, anyone has some kind of ailments or something that might need removing. Okay, so she's a glutton. He has a fever. Let's try to remove that. There we go. She has a headache. Okay, I can't... Oh, she has rash. Rash needs to be removed. Okay. Okay, good. And then bandages. Anyone wounded? No. Good. End the day. Wonderful. That boy! Um, I'll never make a worry out of him. Why not? Why are you saying this? All he can do is cry and get sick. He's weak. I failed. Again. The curse. Oh, the curse. What curse? Stop it. Tormod is strong. He's a true survivor. And stop talking about this curse. There is no curse. Okay, well, they're fighting. Mm, you know very well that I am cursed. You know it's Zovek. It's the only explanation to all our troubles. Dude, what troubles? You're in the camp, you're safe, you have plenty of food, water, medicine, bandages. And if I'm not cursed, that would mean I'm just a total failure. Oh, poor dude. Lacking self-confidence, I see. Uh, there is a curse? There is no curse. Uh, so it's like, there is a curse! You're a failure! Um... Well, I don't think there is a curse. That will hit him hard, though. You're not... Ugh, there is no curse, dude. You're not a failure, but honey, I fear that there is no curse. You just don't have much luck these times. No luck? Are you kidding me, Sovik? F it. It's been years of suffering and hardships. You're saying that I'm weak. Is that it? Is that what you mean? No. No, no. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. I have the right to be angered. You should be too. Why don't you get angry, Solvik? Why? Stop it. So Please. Oh, poor Solvik. Afraid? And you're crying now? I should be the one to cry. F it, Solvik. Think about my suffering for once. He's a terrible, he's a terrible, terrible husband. But, but I... Such a sad story. Scared. Shut it! By the gods, you make make me mad. 
Ugh, these two, these two lost some wisdom, okay. What if I improved his stats? Can that fix him? Now there is a way to gain wisdom. <laughs> uh, oh, dehydrated, lots of thirsty people. Now I want to do something to fix this, but doesn't like... It's, if there is a solution, it's not obvious to me. And there we go. Today we get double rations. So because I see people are very hungry. There we go. Hmm. So he's like stupid and stupid. <laughs> What's opposite of wise and intelligent? Stupid and reckless. There we go. It's reckless the opposite of wise. It might be. It's stupid and reckless, and I should turn milk into cheese. And there we go. Good. And still no children. Come on, we need children. We need little goatees. Little goatees. Okay, can he finish that? Hopefully. Okay, go and make some more medicine. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we have people here. Okay, I can go back to hunting, collecting uh, leather for us. Okay, that's alright. That's alright. Oh, we leveled up with Aerie, of course. Unpredictable, fast depression, apprentice breeder. Exploration, beast handling, I don't know, these sound very useful. Call of Wisdom, okay. Sure, I like stats, okay. Okay, we should have one more day of the doggy, right? Yep, battle dog. Speaking of the doggy, get us some more items. There we go, repair stuff. Good. Okay, we'll go get some water. That's fine. You finish that. You. Grab this. Good. You get hemp. You take care of the sheep. Okay, looks good. See, you're helping your wife out. Isn't that like a great thing to do? You should get along. Let's make cheese right away, maybe. Before I forget. I'm gonna get the fight and then that's gonna be distracting and then I'm gonna forget probably. <laughs> okay, um so let's see. Two to six, three to seven. Um should we go for him? Nah. Sixty-five percent. Now that's pretty low, but we only need to hit it twice, so there. Uh, and here, 80%. I think we have some kind of accuracy debuff. These also might have dodge. Yeah, 5% though, and that's not that much. Okay. Yeah. Focus! Well... Fight for me, okay, okay. I see how it is. Can we get our knut? Okay, this time. Well, actually, I'm not gonna charge. I'm just gonna go and swing both of them. There we go. And then do whatever. And then and finish them up. There. GG. Okay, wonderful. So fighting going really well. Uh, okay, switch over here. Let's make. Cheese, I didn't forget. Haha. There we go. Repair stuff. Okay, let's see what we found. Oh, ash heap. Inspect. You notice quite a big heap of ashes. Obviously, many fires were lit at this place, and you can still see some burnt out pieces of wood. They'll do the vent, don't worry. Uh, it's just not time for that yet. Okay, we switch her back to cooking, up to 96 fire usage, go to fire, fill it up, good, grab the next thing to craft, expedition camp, 
Less fatigue for characters to explore. Okay, we already started that, so somebody needs to finish. Okay, you know what? Sovik, you can go and finish the expedition camp. This one there, and then you can make some ropes. There we go. Um, maybe get us some berries. I don't know. You can also go fetch some water, I guess. Okay, Kari and Eric. Kari, help her get some stones. Eric, actually, Eric, you could be crafting. Let's make something harder to do then, if you're gonna do that. Temporary battle boost, to plus 2 HP. Um, well, we are short on bones, actually. What can we do with Eric? Doggy, you're resting? Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna need to give us a buff. Okay. I'll just grab some water, I guess. Okay. Okay, walking sticks. Yeah, walking sticks help while exploring, I guess. Oh. We have to be careful that we don't lose somebody to, like, depression. Oh, finally. Uh, there we go. Attacking two people. Bam. Eight damage. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And Mr. Knut is in front, which is really good. Now. Yeah, I'm missing way more than I should be missing. That was like 116. Uh, 164. Come on. Really? So 1 in 4 to miss once, 1 in 16 to miss twice in a row. 1 in 64 to miss 3 times in a row. 25% chance to miss, unless I'm misunderstanding something, which I don't think I am. But it's our G. It is what it is. See, it would need to be like some crazy amount of RNG to get us down, so. And just like that. I guess I don't have sharpened tools. Maybe I should just make myself some sharp tools so we go through the fight faster. I mean, I did make them. I should apply them. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, let's make sure we stoke the fires. And let's see. Make sure we have enough water to give to everyone. There we go. Okay, another location we found. We are going through this quite fast now. Salt Marsh. Exploring the shore, we find several small pools of light blue water, all lined up with regular white heaps. The shimmering of the sun on the water is magnificent. Now, it produces a myriad of colored shimmering lights. Shades of green and blue dance on the water surface. The pools furthest from the shore add some nice brown and red to the shimmering palette. Palette. Okay, we're gonna do at least one more day, so... Let's check these. There we go. Come on, goats. Reap your dues, please. Tend the ship. Nothing to be done. Mm, so everyone's on full health. Is that what it is? A shadow is lurking in the night. Oh, no. Eric is patrolling the camp tonight while everyone else is asleep. Patrol. Oh, we failed. Eric had left the guard down for a moment when he got stabbed in the back. Red blood was flowing from his leg and he screamed in pain. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, it's not a lot of injury though. He looked behind him but no one was to be seen. He went back to the shelter to get some healing. Worried. I thought it was... Uh, I thought that was uh, Eustache lurking in the dark. I guess not. Was that a stealth check? Might have been. Why do you eye him down like that? Okay. Uh, let's see. Best food for my fighters. And a little bit less good food for everyone else. Still pretty good food for everyone else though. Nice. Speed it up. Yeah, there might be some effects coming. Okay, we lost the battle dog, so we're gonna reapply that right away. Okay, we got some people sweating and stuff. What's gonna be the weather today? Okay, sunny. Okay, doggy, uh, give us attack. There we go, attack buff. Let's repair stuff. 
Okay, what's gonna be the next thing we build here? Okay, he didn't finish the ropes, but she can do it. Uh, expedition camp, we got... Minus 50% potable water needed for characters while exploring. Uh, five bones, okay, let's wait for that a little bit. Resting area, two characters, three characters, more fatigue recovery. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, let's go hunt some more. There we go, put her to wood. Moira, go gather some hemp. We are attacking, blood of it, get some water. We can also level her up apparently. Oh, she is one of our warriors. Oh, that's good. Um, max damage plus one, bloodthirsty stabber. I don't think I'm on that. Health minus one issue is minus two critical and accuracy. That's interesting, but. Oh, damage resistance. That's really good on her. Let's grab damage resistance. That's amazing. She's a tank, so. Okay. Uh, let's see how are people doing. Nothing there. Oops. There was something. Oh, yeah, he's bleeding. All right. And then, okay, let's cure the fever. Glutton's okay. Headache. There we go. What is this? This doesn't do any, do much, but we have plenty of potions. Let's just remove those. Rash. We need to remove the rash for sure. Glutton and sweating. That's fine. Sweating. Okay. There. And she's also glutton and sweating. Okay, people are like, what's going on? They're getting sick and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Anyone need to take a break? Hopefully not. So in two days, we're gonna have to like give half of our ropes away. Oh no, what a disaster. Not really. Hey, what can I say? We're doing great here. New fight? No new fight. Not this time. Okay, I uh, go and cook. Choose the recipe. 96, there we go. Go here, click that. Wonderful dog here should be resting. New location. Ooh, dark cave. Now this looks interesting. Inspect. You notice an opening in the stone, like some sort of hole that looks quite deep. The space seems to be enough for you to fit in, and you can catch a sight of bats taking refuge inside. Why not go inside? There is probably some interesting stuff inside. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, all kind of deadly stuff in there. Well, I'm gonna go eventually, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's make one of these, I guess. There we go. Uh, dry some food, to sure. There we go. Get us some more of these. Kari, get us some water. Eric. Ah, no, Eric's weird. Just go and fish. Actually, no. Kari, go get us some stones. And you go grab some water. And let's actually see how we are doing with water. Uh, okay, let's cook first. No, it's okay. One person should be more than enough. And if we, yeah, we have enough water. What's this? Oh, nothing to be done. Okay, then. Then let's do it like this, maybe. I don't even know. We have some depressed people. Okay, you know what? Go and have a heart to heart. And get drunk <laughs> while doing so. Let's have some beers to relax, yeah? All this tension between the two of you. Oh, we got two new locations this time. Okay, we are. Oh, Scrawny Smug Warrior. Inspect. You see a tall bony warrior with a smug look on his face. You start to count every bone you can see in his syrup cage, then you come back to your senses. He's wielding two broken spears as a weapon. He sighs as you approach. Okay. It's another one of his lieutenants, I guess. But that's the last one, right? One, two, three, four, five. We found all the lieutenants. Okay. And scratched rocks. This was visibly dug by someone before, but they seem to have abandoned their work before they were finished. Okay, um, I have time to check out the warriors, so I'm gonna be doing that. Let's make sure I don't forget the water though. 10, there we go. And then milk. With cheese we can buy some special items, which we'll probably do, there we go. And then, uh, okay, dog is resting, that's alright. Yeah, let's check out the fifth lieutenant. I think that's nice. 
everything for this episode. Hello, there's Crony Smog, where we'll probably have to go and defeat it. Talk. I'm gonna send blood of it, like usually. Hi, I come in peace. Can we talk? No, you're gonna talk with his spears first, probably. <laughs> Sm <sighs> mm. What's your name? <sighs> What's the point in telling you? You'll be that soon. Mm -hmm. Assume I won't. Aha, uh -huh. you wish. Nyal. Nyal Broken Spear, they call me. Are you with Bjorn? I am with... Am I with Bjorn? <sighs> I guess. He calls us his fingers. <sighs> I would be the middle one if so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you agree with him? I guess Aelof is the thump, right? Or a pinky, maybe? No, pink is the one angry dude, right? <sighs> Don't know, but what? Er... The killings, the tributes, everything. Ah, I don't care, I do my thing. That's enough for me. You don't want to join us in our fight against him? Sheesh, fight? No, no, too tiring. What could make you change your mind? Mm, I want to change my mind, I'll either way, so... Hmm? Hmm? At least I tried. This guy depressed me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait for night. Okay, can we like talk with him again? So I still not that, eh? Okay, I guess. Uh, let's do a couple more events here. Okay, so we got the ship here. Uh, the boating, I'm gonna leave for now. Uh, we got a lovely couple here, which well, we can't join. We have a merchant here. Ah, we got a chest. Ornate coffer. Open carefully. Open by force. Check surroundings. Um, let's check surroundings this time. Oh, exploration. Okay. Shut up. Something bugs you. The chest seems to have been abandoned not that long ago in plain sight. Search for anything unusual. 100%. Let's go. You fear an ambush, you carefully search the surroundings, but find no one alive. What you do find, though, are two dead Norsemen and a dead fury creature you never saw before. From the looks of the scene, you believe the one with trousers down was relieving himself when he was attacked by the big unknown creature. His friend killed the beast, but not before suffering a fatal wound to the abdomen. They must have died two days ago at most. That means they won't mind if you take their belongings, will they? Okay. Some meat and some pelts. And a hey, stone whetstone, that's pretty cool, I guess. And the saga axe. While you were away from the chest, someone smashed it open and looted everything valuable inside. <laughs> All right. Damn, that should teach you about leaving a valuable treasure unguarded. Well, we could have left a guard behind, but there was no option, so. Okay. Uh, then let's see. Okay, there's Aelof. Then we got a spider. Webbed bodies. Inspect. It's it stumble upon two shapes covered with spider webs and hanging from a tree. You suspect the large one is a human body. There's a smaller one next to it. You can't guess what could be inside. Uh, let's check the small one first. Agility and intelligence. Okay, job for Kari. You touch the web cocoon. It's still firm. Whatever is inside, it's not fully digested or grown up yet. You pray for the former. Open it. You carefully slice the small package open that still comes off easily, offering you a peek inside. With a gasp of horror, you discover the remains of a human child wrapped in wolf pelts. You reluctantly take the bones and the pelts, knowing that it will be useful, but it's depressing. Alright, Kari, hang in there. We need bones, though. And pelts. And then we can grab the big one. Courage and crafting. Um... Oh, <laughs> Mr. Stupid Guy. Um, I mean, Knut. You touch the web cocoon, it's soft. It was human being inside, it must already be reduced to mushy digestive fluids. Uh, let's uh, retrieve the silk. No, let's open it. He doesn't care. You carefully slide a small package open. The silk comes off easily, offering you a peek inside. You see a ton of rotting food filled with maggots. Rotting food. Okay, no bones, no anything. Okay, that's alright. And let's grab... Fruit and leaves. Okay, I'm gonna grab the fruit. You come closer to pick up some medicinal leaves, but as you set foot on the heap of leaves, you slip through it. Boom! It's a trap and you've fallen right into it. Plus, you hurt yourself. Ouch. Injury. Okay, nothing too sh too bad, though. 
Broken ribs, okay, that's bad. It was hard fall, you're hurt everywhere, you hardly get back on your feet and look around you. You're in a quite deep hole, and the few bones you find on the ground prove you're not the first to fall inside this hole. You need to get out of here quickly, otherwise it will be you that will be covering the ground soon. Okay, climb the wall. Well... She's very agile, no problem. You sleep several times, but you manage a few tries later to get back on the surface. Covered with soil and exhausted by this tiresome climb, you curse whoever set this trap and rush back to the camp, hoping to never be trapped like this ever again. Did you grab the bones, Kari? Of course you didn't. We get 5 agility and now, oh, apparently we're on 119, that's a bug. You cannot go above that. Above 100. This heap of leaves intrigues you. It's strange that it was left here, right in the middle of the forest. No one would be foolish enough to abandon such a loot. Not really. You think it's too shady. You pick up a branch long enough to interact with the leaves without having to come too close. Then you hit the heap. Nothing happens, which is reassuring. However, you push a fruit that disappears through the leaves before a muffled noise is heard a few seconds later. This surprises you. So you start again with another fruit. When you hear the noise again, you understand there's indeed something down below. Examine carefully. You remove carefully some leaves to see what's underneath and you make a surprising and worrying discovery. Under the heap of leaves, actually held by a small wooden structure, there is a deep hole that seems to have been willingly hidden. Obviously, it's a trap. Nice intelligence. Good. Disarm the trap. Use the trap. Uh, you look, use the trap. She can do it. It, if it's a trap, you might as well use it to your advantage. You may manage to catch an animal with it and bring some food to the camp. You position yourself a little further, making sure you have the trap in your sight. And all you have to do is wait for an animal to come. Wait silently. Don't yawn, don't giggle. Your patience and your discretion finally pay off. A few minutes later, there's an animal coming. It's a young deer attracted by the fruit. It sniffs the air and looks around it to spot any hostile presence. By chance, it doesn't spot you, and judging it's safe, comes close to the trap, unaware of doubts going to happen. You watch the deer fall in the hole, you so you stand up and go back to the trap. The animal, wounded and stunned, dimly moves at the bottom of the hole, you catch it by the leg and drag it outside, and then you kill it gently. Finally, you cut it up and take some meat that will make a great meal for for tonight. Well, it's raw meat, so it's gonna make a great meal tomorrow when we cook it. Okay, also got cola nuts, that's nice. Oh, we lost the depression from falling into the trap. How wonderful. Disarm the trap. Um, actually, she has... Oh, she has 119 agility. Okay. Uh, let's do curry again. The trap structure is very simple, you can easily undo it with your bare hands and get the leaves on the fruit that were on it. However, you're going to have to be careful, you don't want to fall into the hole. Take the leaves and stuff and should be 100% here, wonderful. You undo the trap carefully and you get some medicinal herbs as well as some fruit. You observe the hole, you discover some bones inside and a small dead beast. Can we get the bones now? Cola nuts. Rappel down. Okay, you don't take the risk to go down without a rope. That would be the best way to get stuck inside. So you take a rope and tie it solely to a tree next to the hole and use the other the end to go down. Once you're at the bottom, you pick up the bones that cover the ground. Then you take care of the animal. You cut it up to get its skin and some meat. It's too bad. It's so small. After you've picked up everything that could be useful to you, you get back to the surface. Two bones. Nice. And some more meat. Wonderful. And some pelts. Nice. Cool. Uh, alright, alright, uh, let's make sure we have enough water for the night, we actually do, let's make sure the wire is done, and let's make sure we have all the milk, good, and uh, let's have so now everyone speculate about the the finger, how we gonna, we gonna talk to him again, that's what we usually do, it seems like we've met another of Bjorn's fingers, yeah, but he's so annoying, I want to punch him in the face. He has a rather peculiar personality, yes. I don't know how we'll be able to rally him. Mm. We can't give up, we must find a way or... Mm. Maybe. Yes? Some people just understand brute force. Maybe if we show him we are strong, he would change his mind. Mm. Seems logical. He follows Bjorn after all. Since he doesn't show much motivation to do so, he must have been subdued by force. So, you all agree? <laughs> We're gonna fight him tomorrow. Yes! We kick his ass and make him our slave. For once you have a good idea. <laughs> Can't wait. Mom, where did you put my bow? She scares me sometimes. Sometimes. She would have made a fine Bjorn. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> all right. Convince Njal to join your cause. Hey, wooden man, I was wondering something. Why don't you use a bow in battle? 
or a sling, for all I care. Bows are for coverts and women. Do you think I'm either? Eh, no, no, it's just that I've been thinking. Since you move at speed of a limping snail, it would be easier to take root and shoot from people from there. Mm. Out of respect for your father, I won't spank your naked ass in front of everyone. Okay. Well, at least he respects Eric. You should spend more time with your mother and less with your aunt, child. That might be true, though. That might be true. What did I say? <laughs> what a jerk. But at least he knows some Norse pride. Oh, she actually respects that. Interesting. Okay. Let's uh, go and drink some water. There we go. And then let's go and share the food. Okay. Warriors first. Uh, let's say There we go. You get that. You get that. Oh, she's super hungry. Why is that so? Probably some ailment or something. We might need to check out, check on her after this. Maybe because of the baby, she gets hungry faster. Could be. Great. All right. So, next episode, we're going to be fighting the guy, but that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do some nice things, uh, be kind to each other, and uh, let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of That in Winland. The Niamh signing out. Bye-bye.